Hello everyone, welcome back to the Toothbrush episode 12. Uh, we're finally starting to have a little bit of like Christmas spirits. Uh, and I know Manny has a tree somewhere in the back. Uh, you know what I love about this though? That we're uh, through these episodes, uh -huh. we're, we're learning how to count. Right. <laughs> Again, it's like for kids, I think. For, for those people who have kids, they can just uh, tell them, you know, they can use these episodes as a, for kindergarten. As a counter -mark. yeah. Like, that's episode one, two, three, four. And, and, and episode one, and you can have uh, the title as well, because episode Very one good. was titled uh, Explosive Diarrhea. <laughs> yes. So the kids are going to be like, oh, one equals diarrhea. They can, they can relate to that. Yeah. And now number 12 is uh, Christmas spirit and uh, wars, which I don't think we're necessarily going to talk about, about wars, but that's what, <laughs> what I labeled it. Well, because that's what's going on in the world. Yeah. And, and we were talking about uh, Venezuela and Guyana, uh, what was, what's going on in there. And the craziness that uh, the whole country of Venezuela it did the referendum. And now they're trying to annex uh, the, what is it, the Kisivo? Uh, as area, yes. as a cable area of the of the country, and then after we spoke a little bit about it, uh, about it, I realized that the U.S. and Exxon Mobil and Guyana are already having a plan in case uh, Venezuela goes and and tries to uh, take over. Yeah, they they have a uh, there's the Southern Command, the U.S. Southern Command, uh, whatever they call it is. It's like the U.S. military's uh, regional military, uh, you know, apparatus. There is uh -huh. working with with, with them, with, for, which uh, providing training and uh, and all that stuff to to Guyana. That has virtually has uh, no military. Army, so, yeah. yeah, and and no infrastructure as well, basically. We were talking about, like, I think there's a little bit less than a million Guyanese living in Guyana. I think there's more Guyanese in the U.S. than there are actually in Guyana. They had a protest the other day I saw on Reddit, and one of the comments was like, there must be all the Guyanese in New, in New York must be at that protest because there's a <laughs> lot of people. <laughs> it was like, sure, it was a lot of people. Yeah, like, dude. Because oh. I never seen it. I mean... I don't. I, I've met Guyanese people, but I, I don't think I've. They're not that. Uh, that many. Like, yeah. dude, when they're you come back to New, when when you come back to New York, uh, I'll show you a neighborhood that is Guyanese, pure Guyanese. It's Ozone Park, and everywhere you go, it's Guyanese. Uh, Ozone Park, I know Ozone Park, but I didn't know the word. Yeah, dude, it, it's full of Guyanese people. Uh, but yeah, it, it's actually pretty good. I don't. I, I, it's, it's very very residential. It's Guyanese and Indians. Uh, the ones that I don't see. I'm an other... honorary Guyanese. <laughs> There's a picture of you somewhere that you actually do look Guyanese. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, people when I live in New York all the time, where, they they ask me like, "Where are you from? Are you Indian?" Oh no, no, actually, it would always I, it was Guyanese, Indian, and then it would go down. Yeah, and, and then the other. Yeah, it was never like Dominican. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, I, I guess you do look a little bit Guyanese or Indian, uh, sort of. But like my as a Latino, I would have been like, "Wait, are you Guyanese or are you like Indian?" But when my granddad came to the country, uh, right, I think a year before he died, uh, he was at a store, and he was looking at some stuff, and a Guyanese, I mean, an Indian guy showed up, and, and he like tapped his shoulder, and just started talking to my granddad in in whatever the language uh, they. The guy was speaking, and my granddad was like, English? "No, no, it wasn't English. It was like uh, I don't know if it was Hindi. You know, like they have like sixty languages in India." So my grand, my my granddad was like, "You know, I uh, I, I I know that uh, you started talking about." Uh, this this topic, but I, I oh, yeah, brought yeah. up India, and I I was watching the other day something about the uh, Ga Ganges. Is it, I, I'm going to kill? I, yeah, I no, the, Gan the, the Ganges River. 
and I I was it's petrifying. It is scary. I can't believe it. Dude, What's I don't know. What's I don't know if you've on, seen what's going on in India. Oh, dude, Indians. there's you got to fix the service, dude. It seems like everything goes on in in India. There's the whole uh, there's like two sub genre uh, sub uh, genders or what, as fuck as the two sub uh, categories on YouTube, which is uh, food, how they prepare food in India, like street food in India, which is horrible. They basically like pieces of beef with their their toes and like they they never like yeah like literally they, like one guy there was a, a video of a guy who had uh like a longer toenail and he used that toenail just to cut piece of meat and it was very very gross and then he was like throwing that inside the stew uh then that they like just go like they're like coughing and like sneezing and then they just put their hand back in the food uh, that that's one of them. Like that's 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 the whole category. And then right. there's the other category of like uh, foreigners, especially like American and European foreigners that go to India, and then they they're like, this is horrible. This is the worst country I've ever been to. People start crying in the middle of the streets. They're like, this is too overwhelming. Yeah. But also, I, also those are the same tourists that go into, and that's how it all started because they went into the the river. And they're told because it's supposed to be purifying or whatever. And they go, they go in the river and they take a, they, they dip and whatever. And I'm like, dude, in this river they have like dead bodies. Yeah. They have sewage. They have all this. I'm like, I would not go near this river. And people I'm actually, like, like you said, people drink water because it's purifying. They drink that water full of like dead bodies. Unbelievable. Uh, it's uh. And then the health authorities don't do any. They're not doing. The Indian government, I guess, because again, because of religious reasons, people do this. But then, if if they are going, and again, it's actually, I believe, for religious reasons, they should be taking care of this river. Right. But also, I mean, the the problem, and that that's what the the video was talking about, is that there's so many people living along this river that, I mean, people use the bathroom. There are people wash clothes. We will do all this. Thing. So they they have to. There's sewage and and all this. It has to go somewhere. And it goes so, into the river. But 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 then the but the instead of investing in treating instead of treating the water before it goes into the river, they just dump it. Yep. They they and should. It's a, I don't know. I I it was like. And it's one of the I craziest things. It. I I'm like, how is this happening? Mm -hmm. And it's also one of those. And it's places. actually one of it's a historical river. I remember. I mean, it's very like. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, I don't know. It's the one that like civilizations, like one of the initial human civilizations, right. started it at, and and you're like, that's that's also going to be the river where civilizations are going to die at. <laughs> yeah, because it's known for like if you go if you take a sh uh, shower, if you if you <laughs> bathe in it, you you uh, it's known for like. Uh, People contracting all sorts of diseases. Yeah, and people because do they, it all the time. It's unbelievable. Like I was I, telling I really, you, like, I, don't, I don't know if you've seen the videos, but like people go grab a cup of uh, like an empty cup, they just like swift a, a cup of water and they just drink it. And you're like, dude, I will not even get close to the river itself. Like you throw a match into that water and it starts burning. I'm a, I'm, and and it's I'm not a, even the people's fault. I, 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 uh, I mean, it is. It is the people's fault. To be honest, it is. But wh where are the governments? Wh where? Oh I yeah. Was, there was like during COVID, there were bodies because they burned the bodies. But sometimes they were saying that uh, some people are so poor that they don't have enough money to pay for enough wood to burn the bodies all the way, Jesus you know, to, to ashes. So when they don't like the the the, the fire, just you know. Uh, disperses they just well they're like fuck it let's throw this guy in the river <laughs> <laughs> and they just literally so they, they had i was reading so then because I, I started looking into this and there was an article about bodies being washed up down the river like into the into land that were that might have been might have had covid and there was uh this concern that this could spread diseases and and it was just, just a, a whole bunch of bodies just you could yeah. just and then and, and and I think for the same where reason, is the government? Yeah, actually, I, the I, 
The government is now it's not existing in that in that area, which is crazy. I can't believe it. And and I think also the government should be doing a water wastewater treatment plants, uh, or just re recovering the water just so it becomes a little bit clear. I think they're. I don't know. They're, they get so weird from like making the country livable. There's people like living in extreme poverty, and then there's like billionaires living in like mansions that are like 80, uh, 80 stories high. Like the guy in, in Mumbai right. who who has like uh, a building oh, that is it is yeah. Uh, and then like he sits downstairs, and there's like people who are basically bathing in that uh, dumpster water. Also, I don't believe it. I can't believe it. What were you going to say? And also, talking about India, I mean, now that we're talking about India, <laughs> do you hear about that temple that has like 25,000 rats? That is a rat temple? Because it's infested or because they just... Because they're, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a temple dedicated to rats. So they let rats be in the temple and they actually just pour milk into like big uh, trays of silver, and then they just bring all the rats to start drinking. And yeah, like people actually caress the rats. They let the rats come in. They feed the rats. And apparently, if you find a white rat in the thousands of rats that you see, it's good luck. So you see people like like scavenging for like the white rat, and like they're taking a shit in like people's um, <laughs> arms and and shoulders. Like rats just start like crawling all over you. And and yeah, it's it's very very gross. Uh, I don't know. Like I, I I was thinking of like trying to show a video uh, to you guys, thinking... but it's it, it might be a little bit too extreme. Yeah, it might be dis discuss too disgusting. Yeah, I'm it is. Like it is the, very the, these two stories seem too surreal to uh, to be true or to to. I think uh, we might have to go there to to show that it's, it's real. Yeah, I don't, and I'm then actually, we might we might end up in one of those videos that you're talking about about like uh, <laughs> these uh, <laughs> bathing in the Ganges, going to India, and, uh, yeah. Because listen, I heard about I don't know, I heard some some some. I I know people who've been to India I'd say there are some there are some beautiful places there. Oh yeah, but yeah. I've heard some other stuff too. So I it's it's fifty fifty actually. I think it's more uh, like uh, I think with India it's more like it's an anecdote. It's anecdotal. So yeah. I can't say, you know, but but, but with, uh, with the people but, I know have been there, I've said it's 50, 50 like it's hit or miss, and, and there are. But uh, but also I hear that I if know, you, are, where you go. yeah, but I hear if you're light skin, uh, normal like white, they they will just like surround you and they're like start asking you for pictures because there, some places they they never really seen a white person or they see very few white people, so they want to take pictures with white so people. I'm not. Yeah, and I, I'm not saying that we're white or, or anything, but uh, we're we're definitely gonna look very different than, than the majority of people there. So we would also I, be overwhelmed. I'm gonna look like a local. I'm good. <laughs> They're gonna, any <laughs> They're gonna they, be like, except for when they start when they start uh, asking me questions. Yeah. But all I got, yeah. But you don't have even uh, to say anything. You just should move your your shoulders. <laughs> move my like, head or whatever. Yeah, but move. then it'll be like. They'll be asking me a question like, "Are you gonna give me? Are you or whatever?" It'll be some some crazy shit, and I'll be like, "Yeah, like yeah," and then you know, it'll be like, I don't know. No, yeah, no, no, it, it's true. Um, but I don't know. It feels like that whole country. Give me a thousand dollars, sure. <laughs> and then you're like, next thing you know, you're like selling your kidney, or some shit like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but okay. I, I've heard that India it, it is one of those crazy, very extreme countries that that and and Bangladesh. I've heard that Bangladesh and India are a little bit too extreme because there's so much density of people in those cities that it, it is like the government is not really there to clean up the streets. They don't do like proper sanitation. They don't do wastewater treatment plants. Uh, yeah, China, China does a lot they the western uh industrialized countries do wastewater treatment recovery and, and that's great it, it keeps us safe for the most part but i i also it keeps the rivers clean the waterway people safe that you know it's 
it makes sense. Uh, yeah, I don't think people jump I don't in think... the water if you not die. Well, yeah, I, I wouldn't jump into the Hudson River just <laughs> when you can. Well, but if 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 you if 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 you're if you're on a water if on a boat and your water capsize if your boat capsizes, you know, I don't think. Yeah, you're gonna well, get. I mean, there was a list of diseases that they were talking about there that uh, even diseases without a name, they're like uh, type X. Or you know, even if it's not the uh, disease, I'm pretty sure a dead body is gonna float by me when I'm like oh, yeah. in the Hudson River. And that's and true. if it does. Actually, you know, that's true. Um, like and I was gonna say like, and I, <laughs> and I was gonna say that at least that's gonna be like one thing uh, that we can see. But on the other one in India, you're definitely gonna be very sure that you'll see uh, a couple of dead bodies, a couple of hens floating around, turds of all kinds of animals and people. Um, yeah, just thinking about it is a little bit. Uh, but there are simple solutions. Like I was like watching the video. I'm like, why doesn't the government, for example, then set up like, like burn the bodies and does cremation services uh -huh. for, the, for the people themselves, so that we don't because there's so that a when million. people, yeah. But like I uh, said earlier, that they were to, the video said that uh, some people were so poor that they didn't have enough money to buy wood to burn the bodies completely. Yeah. So why doesn't the government just have a, a thing there where people can just go and, and the government just cremates the body and then they have the ashes and then they take you know, very simple solutions. Right. But no, actually, that's true. That That is true. That it doesn't, it didn't make any, it, it's just. And also they have like. What a treatment plan. I mean, isn't India one of the breaks countries? Maybe you can invest in your poor communities. Yep. Bit. It's it's not only that, but it's also one of the richest countries in the world as well. At its uh, nowadays, it has, a, I think, it has one of the biggest uh, and still growing economies of the world. It's a little bit compared to like, what Spain or something. So, like putting it putting a wastewater treatment plant shouldn't be that difficult, or just putting like a, a couple of cremation places where instead of like using, I don't know, wood, just like natural gas or propane or, or whatever type of thing. It is crazy. It is crazy. I would, to... I would uh, donate money to if somebody there starts yeah. uh, something like that to, to try to. Get yeah, it. no, it's, it's a little bit too crazy. I, I don't think none of that is. All of it is viable. And also they have such a, such a big population with uh, working class people. Uh, that having that type of work can be so useful. Um, yeah, you yeah. can put people to work cleaning up the river, paying people yeah. to work. Uh, I don't know in different ways uh, in that cre cremation. You know, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. We, they yeah. should hire us again, dude. Yeah. Come us there to solve this crisis. In India. Yeah, actually, actually, that's true. We are architects and 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 a little yeah. bit of everything. So I sent you a video uh, of the rat temple. We're not gonna put it on. So if you if you want to click it, so we can just talk sure. a little bit about it. because this is so people do a pilgrimage to go to the rat temple, and it is one of the grossest things I've ever seen in my life. I don't know if you're scared of rats or you don't. I mean, I don't guess most mm -hmm. people like like rats, but the yeah. way in which this is. Oh, man. Yeah, it's supposed to be like in the middle of the desert as well. It is very scary. I, I I would not visit this place and I saw a video of like a couple of like Nor Norwegians or like Americans that brought in their kids and the and the children were around like three to four years old walking around in this thousand animal uh temple. Wait, are rats supposed to be sacred and in in that part of that that religion, whatever, uh, or in that category of but not religion. entirely, but not in India. It's just not there. In that just place. there. Yeah. I mean. Oh man! And yeah, you see the disgusting. Like the, the place that I'm, the, what I'm looking at is the guy is. Um, and he's drinking from the fucking milk that they yeah. they're just drinking it. Yeah, full of of, of 
poop and, and, and the reporter he threw it in front of the reporter the reporter is just keeping a straight face it's <laughs> <He's not even laughs> <laughs> hilarious well and the guy is just like making it look like yeah it happens that's normal uh, yeah i know yeah, he's like, <laughs> like, yeah. oh man that was I, that was something i didn't i didn't want to see i think it was better that we didn't show it right Probably. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, and I also going back to something that we've been talking about lately. Uh, one of our, uh, our I was going to say favorite candidates uh, in Latin America, uh, Javier uh, Gerardo Milei. He became the president of Argentina to date already. That's a middle name. I didn't know that. Yeah, and I, I just uh, watched the, the, his first speech. And he said, "Oh, you you tuned in? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I tuned in. Hey, you were. I, mean, uh, I was like screaming, que viva la libertad! Que viva la libertad! <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm not. I'm not supporting all of his ideas. I think it's one or two. Or you good. can support it. I mean, you, you, or you can be neutral. You can, you can, you can uh, hope for the best. You know, you yeah, don't support for, him, but hope for the best. I think everybody's. That, I think that's that's to, yeah. that, that's what I'm. I, um, I'm referring to. I'm hoping for the best for the country. Hoping for the best." But Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner, she was uh, becoming like the okay. MC. I don't, I, dude, I don't know. Like she She's was the MC. An MC now. No, no, she was the MC for the ceremony. She was actually telling everyone what to do, how to do it, and she was like telling me late, like now it's your turn to take uh, take the oath. Uh, you should do this. You should do that. She was like in the middle of like the whole uh, oh, I don't know. direct and everything, and I was like, wait, isn't she supposed to go to jail? Well, is it is that a custom in, in Argentina for the like the but, president or whatever? To, to... But she was not even the president; it was the other guy. From or America. whatever the vice president, because maybe because she's the uh, I don't know I don't know the constitution there, but maybe the the vice president is the head of the one of the chambers as the because uh... here the vice president is like the president. Of the, I don't know, I don't know how it works there. I think it, it works. It's as different here. Like here, Mike Pence was the president. Like in twenty, you know, like when Mike, uh, when Trump was president, Mike Pence was the president of the yeah. Senate. So it is. I think it is the same because uh, right at the end when he did the oath, uh, the vice president, who's a female uh, vice president, uh, and I'm saying this because I don't remember her name, and I'm sorry. Um, she directed herself to. Uh, the Congress, and she said, uh, "La Cámara de Diputados, um, he, uh, in in oh, yeah. in the oh, name right. of, yeah, she's like in the name of Millet, and and uh, in my name, we just want to thank you for the work that you guys are doing, and we're moving forward uh, from now on." Or she said something along the lines, and then he went out. Uh, Millet went out to give a speech to the whole country. I mean. She was a force MC. She was she was being Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was like uh yeah, it was an interesting Yeah. And and it, it felt really weird because here, you know, like everything's so organized that you don't see uh a microphone needs to be there, a microphone will be there, there's teleprompters, there's so much organization for like this type of events. But here, no, there was like people all over the place. People chanting like que, que viva la libertad, que viva la libertad. As soon as they see uh, Milay, uh, they were like putting microphones, like shoveling microphones around in front of them. Uh, they were like, "Now you gotta sign," and they were like laughing in the middle of uh, Milay's oath. I was like, "Yeah, this is this is this wouldn't fly here." Yeah, because it was yeah, yeah. Well, it was it? It was probably in the was it in the in the chamber? It was in the chamber, yeah. They don't do it. Yeah, yeah they don't do it outside. Uh, for some reason, I think it would have been nicer to be outside. It's cold. Well, they, they no. here it's in the winter too. Yeah, and, it's and winter there. It's it's getting uh, it's spring right now, or it's becoming spring, I think. Really? Yeah. Uh, because they're in the southern hemisphere, opposite seasons. But yeah, so no, that's like, what I mean. Yeah, yeah, because uh, we haven't hit. We're almost in in winter, so they're almost in in spring. No, almost in summer. Don't 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 we hit? Because the equinox hits at the same time, doesn't it? 
Yeah, uh, December 21st, we get our winter, so they get their summer. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. It's the opposite. I, dude, I was, I, was, I was like, I was already getting that's confused. Right. I, 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 <laughs> no, that's right. It's the opposite. And I'm thinking, yeah. it, I'm sorry, it's because I'm in Florida. Right. Oh, yeah. That's right. I'm sorry. I forgot that I'm in Florida and it's hot here. So I, I actually, uh, it's the it's the everlasting summer. So it's the everlasting I, summer. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. 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 Now that it's you mentioned, it's it's winter here. I thought it was summer for me, but it's actually winter. <laughs> <laughs> What's the temperatures like right down there? Like eighty, right? Today it's actually in the. I think it's in the seventies. Eighty-one. Okay, not not bad. Yeah. Uh, we had when the day that we yeah. had our temperature here in New York to be like twenty-eight, like last week, I think. Uh, you guys were in the forties, fifties at night, though. But in during the day, it was, it was nice. It was nice. Uh, nice. Yeah, it was nice. It was, yeah, it, we, it, it hasn't got during the day. It hasn't gotten cold at all. I mean, not New York cold. It is. You know, you see people with jackets and shit, but that's just yeah, cold, right? dude. One of our, uh, it's you know, like sixty degrees, sixty-eight, seventy. Yeah. Yeah, you know, Edwin, Ed, uh, our friend from. Uh, City Tech. You uh, mentioned. So he also lives in in Orlando, and that day it was like fifty degrees in, down in Florida, and he was wearing a jacket. He sent us a picture of him wearing a jacket, and we we're like, "Dude, stop being a clown. <laughs> 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 That's not even cold." Nah, uh, I don't even have a jacket. Yeah, what would you need a jacket for? Oh, but you're because it's you're, like okay, the, if it's cold one day, come on. Like yeah. one day, you put a sweater. It in, has, it. Yeah. Now, like last year, we had uh, for December twenty fifth. It was New York cold. Yeah, New York cold. It was like Do you guys had like thirty about, degrees or something, right? It was it was New York cold. It was like I I thought it was and and it was crazy. But then the next day, like not the next day, it was like a couple of days later because we had that full week. It was cold. It was free. It was just like it uh, back to normal. It's just like Texas. Texas, Texas never used to get like really cold winters, but now right. like some of the areas like Austin, Texas, Houston, they're getting like thirty degree uh, temperature days, yeah. and and they're like all freezing. They're like they don't know what to do. They're like <laughs> they're going, they're going, and and reconsidering life. And we're like, good, you guys only get it like one day. That's not so bad. Well, I think it was last year that they also had that. It, like I think it was week. a cold front. Something happened, and and the whole country froze over. But they had uh, I, had I, don't it was, I don't remember if it was last year. It was two I years ago. The they had the, oh, uh, no, so, like, was so two years ago they had the the cold uh, vortex, and then last year they had a week of cold temperatures, where the whole country yeah, had, they, that everything froze over and they lost yeah. power, and Ted Cruz was caught down in uh, Mexico when he was. Uh, oh yeah, I don't know if it was last year. No, I think that was like two years ago when the whole blizzard uh, happened. But last year, I do remember because they were like, all right, that's not going to happen. Like the governor, Abbott, which again, is, is uh, not a great uh, governor for so many things. But he was like, it's not going to happen again. This thing's only happened once in a lifetime. And the, the following year happened. Like it got cold. And they were like, don't use your electricity because it might uh, overrun the elect electrical grid. And pipes were bursting because uh, they couldn't like, uh, withstand the expansion of the water. So the whole city went on a whole, like basically half of the state of Texas was like unusable. And, and they were like, all right, I think you guys should follow what the national system does. Otherwise you guys are gonna be not having electricity on and off during like cold days. Yeah. yeah. Because Texas, I think Texas is the only one that has uh, its own electrical grid, right? I heard something, but I don't know. But I, yeah, I, I vaguely, I don't, I don't, I don't really know much about that. But I heard something that Texas or that they're separate from the rest of the, yeah. right? But so yeah, that they have to connect. That's over there to connect to the rest of the grid so that they don't have to, yeah, go through. And, our... and you know, and they also have to. The the country has to go under, under uh, to get the cables on the ground. Yep. Yeah, and that that's because, a major... especially here in Florida when there's a hurricane, 
you know, oh, instead of like having to like spend all this money on fucking crews to go out and fix the cables again, why not just spend all this money ahead of time and invest in putting all these cables on the ground so you don't have to fucking do that every time? Right. I don't know it how does, much money it'll cost, but it, it'll cost a lot of money. But also, I mean, Florida is sinking, so <laughs> so I don't know how good. Well, I don't know about Florida. I think Miami is. My, Miami is. Miami, I think it's in the next 10 years. It should be underwater or something. Uh, which is, I'm over I don't know about sinking. Oh, well, Miami Beach. Yeah, there's a couple of places that already have, like, pumps installed in the city. So, like, water is continuously uh, pumped out of the streets. Uh, but I think it's in Miami. You keep buying stuff. Yeah, I mean, as long as there's money flowing in they're still going to keep investing into some sort of infrastructure. And this is where like having a government works and helps because versus uh, versus India, uh, it's, it's a big contrast. Yeah. 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 You gotta, you gotta, yeah, the government give it a step in. Yeah. So I, I, yeah. So I think we can leave it, uh, it for this week. Uh, I don't. I didn't make any uh, fun facts uh, checkup. <laughs> and the last couple of fun facts for the past three weeks were not very fun. <laughs> <laughs> they were just facts. Mm-hmm. You're like what? So fun fact for today: there's a rat temple in India. Uh, Guyana and Venezuela might go to war. Uh, we still have the Palestinian-Israel war going on, and of course Russia and Ukraine are still fighting. On a good note, what what do we have to end on a good note? <laughs> Christmas is on its way. Oh yeah, Christmas is on its way, and I got uh, you got like five Christmas trees now. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Family, is there another one coming? Oh, actually, I, it's very nice. It looks very. It looks different from yesterday. Yeah, right. It looks a lot nicer, and uh, I put, because I put a little bit of things here. And I forgot to put this. Oh man, <laughs> you're just gonna do, you're just gonna keep putting on trees now. <laughs> no, but you're it, gonna keep them. You're gonna keep them uh, year round. Yeah, and and by and I just think, I mean some people do. I, I some people do that. I've seen that before, and then they just redecorate them uh, like Valentine's Day. They put all red, and then they put all whatever. And it's gonna be different for every different like colors. people's different different people's birthdays. I'm just gonna put like happy birthday all around it. But yeah, uh, there was someone who said uh, that they would like they would not take away their Christmas tree, but they would just put a plastic bag on top of it. So uh, then by the next Christmas, they would like just take it out. Yeah, or I, not? Yeah, or or yeah, the people that don't take down their their Christmas lights, they just leave them off. Unplug him and then just plug him back in. Actually, that's what I do. I still have the same Christmas lights around my window, uh, <laughs> and I never take them, uh, taking it out. Uh, a little small ticker that I'm like uh, bringing you guys in. Uh, but yeah, so let's let's end it up uh, in a good note with Christmas, with the Christmas spirit. Please, people, don't be gracious and and enjoy with family, loved ones, or just uh, put a little bit of Christmas music and enjoy. I, there, I think we're still going to have another sh- couple of shows before or until Christmas. So this is not a Christmas uh, episode just yet. Yeah, it's December 10th. What are you talking about Christmas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, because it sounded like I was say- saying, like, everyone celebrate, uh, enjoy, happy Merry Christmas. And I was like, no, no. It's- <laughs> and I was like, no, no, it's not, it's not yet. You got ahead of yourself, but he's like, relax. <laughs> like, I just well, see we'll see you in 2026. <laughs> see what the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Dude, there's a lot of things, but uh, <laughs> to begin with, this is this is one of them. There are All enough. right, all right, everyone. Uh, see you soon, and peace out. <laughs>